To achieve the best results with Star Spray 1000, a smooth, even finish, it's very important to seal the foam to achieve this very fine surface here. If you look real close, you can see the reflectivity. There are different types of foam we have to deal with. Normally the beaded foam, the white foam, is what most people are used to seeing. It's a cheaper variety of foam that has a lot more porosity and gives us a lot more problems with bubbling. So we'll have to seal it. Now the other one is a blue extruded foam. The prime setup is optional on this. It does help, but it's very important that all the shiny surfaces are sanded and then the dust completely removed before any sealer is put on or even the styro spray by itself to get good adhesion. As we said, the styro spray, the, the material that we have to seal the foam is styro prime. It's a sealing component, water-based coating, that's easily applied by brush or roller. And the roller that we like the best over foam is a foam, a flexible foam roller. And it's a simple brush for doing small touch-up. The coverage rate for this when you're playing your job is about 150 square foot per gallon. Because all we're trying to do is get a single coat for the system. And we want to allow it to dry overnight because it is a water-based coating and it may interfere with the chemistry of the Star Spray 1000 when we put it on. So in humid environments, it's just really important that we pay attention to this and let this dry overnight. Well, we're going to coat some of this foam. And we're taking the top off. You can see the material has a nice, thick, gelatinous consistency. And it's really important that this material is not exposed to freezing temperatures before it dries. So in your shop where you keep the Styro Prime, you want to keep it in a uh, at least above 60 degrees Fahrenheit and when it's drying it's always best to make sure that it doesn't freeze before it has a chance to dry. So we're going to pour some of this into uh, just a common paint pan. There, that's all we need for that. Foam roller, saturate it. And what we're trying to do is not apply a super heavy thick coating but just an even sealing coating to the foam. We're going to do that. Again, we're not trying to flood the piece, just an even, an even seal. And the Star Prime is a little contrasting color. So you can see it on the white foam. And you're trying to push it into it. And that's basically it. Now we're going to let this dry overnight to form the film that we're going to put the finished product Star Spray 1000 over.